And hello YouTube, this is GS, my name is Martin, I'm going to a brand new video for tutorials with GS. In today's tutorial, we're going to take a look at Adobe Premiere Pro and how to organize your footage better when you're editing through labeling and color coding your footage and clips. This is especially very useful if you have lots of clips or you have one giant clip that you need to separate into different sequences by topic. Color coding with labels is very helpful. Now, let me just give you an example of how this can be helpful. If we take a look at my, uh, this is a video that I'm editing for a client of mine. As you can see here, the original footage here is 26 minutes long. I basically trimmed this down into a about five, six minute uh, video here. Now, as you see, I have all of my topics color coded. Each topic that he's talking about, I have a color coded with a different color. And this makes it very easy for you to uh, add your transitions where they need to be added. As you can see, when a new topic comes up, I add a nice little transition. We can take a look here. As you see, nice little transition. And it helps you sort of stay organized a bit more when you're trying to find a specific topic or when you're trying to organize your clips better so you're not missing anything. This works great on the timeline here, but it also works really great when you want to uh, see what clips you haven't added to your video yet through the list viewer here. As you can see, you can label your colors as well. Uh, right now, I had all these labels, which ones were in my clip, which one were in my timeline here, and which one wasn't in my timeline. But I actually defaulted them all to, this, to, to one color so I can show you how that's done before it's actually done. So uh, that's kind of the idea of this video, this tutorial showing you how to uh, basically accomplish this color coding and labeling to make it a bit easier. So if we take a look at this 26 minute footage here, I'm gonna go ahead and drag it onto the timeline here. As you can see, this is one giant uh, footage. But say I want to go ahead and, you know, separate this by topics. Say I'm listening to this and for the first uh, two minutes or so, he's talking about his business, right? We're gonna go ahead and, well, uh, cut right here, make a cut here, trim it. And say for the next two minutes or so, uh, he's talking about how he got connected with a staffing agency. So we'll make another cut there. And let's say for the next, uh, right up to here, he's talking about uh, what the impact was of the staffing agency. And let's just say the rest of this is just talking about uh, something else, another topic. Obviously, it's, it seems very unrealistic that you know that he's talking about one topic this entire time. But just for tutorial purposes. Now, what you can do here is we can go ahead and grab uh, we can go ahead and grab this. This is our this is our current sequence here. What we've basically done is we've dragged our clip here, our 26 minute clip, onto the timeline to create a sequence, and this is the sequence. Now you can always rename your sequences so you can stay more organized. As you can see here, I have all of my sequences named here and whatnot. So I do recommend you to name your sequences. But now that we have this split up, what we can do is we can just go ahead and copy and paste as we can duplicate this basically and we can start uh, separating this by topic so for this second sequence here say this is our main sequence right so we're gonna go ahead and name this uh, or we can just name this everything so this is everything basically uh, but say we want to separate by topic right and for however many topics there are we're gonna duplicate this again so we have one two three four topics so we're gonna need four of these so one two, three, four. So here we have four different sequences. Now in each of these sequences, in this one for example, we're only gonna have the first topic. He's talking about his company. The second one, we're only gonna have the second topic. So we're gonna go ahead and delete and delete. And here he's only talking about the staffing agency. And then the third sequence, we're only gonna have the third topic where he's talking about the impact of the staffing agency. Right, like so. And then for the last one, we're only gonna have the last topic, which is some arbitrary random topic, like so. And then if you want, you can actually name this. So here we can name this company. Uh, here you can name this uh, staffing if you wanted to, and so on and so forth. You can continue to name each sequence here with the topic that's being discussed. So if you if you have an, a testimonial or an interview, this is a great way to uh, separate your footage and actually stay organized, especially if you have a huge long clip. If you already have clips separated, obviously you don't need to do this because you already have your clips separated and all you need to do is a color coding, which is the next step. So once you have everything uh, separated by topic, 
topic, you'll see here, each topic here is named and we just have the clip here. So when we actually want to go ahead and drag everything into our main, so here's everything, we don't need this anymore since we have it separated by topic already. What we're going to use this uh, main sequence here is to drag our stuff in. So say we want say we want to talk about company first. So here we drag in our company. Say next we want to go ahead and drag in uh, the success of, you know, um, obviously you can do any order you want, whatever order you want to put your categories in. You know, say then he's talking about this topic next, and then you want to add this topic next, and then you want to add this topic next, right? Now, if you have, you know, only four or five clips like this, four or five topics, then it's very easy to decipher what you've already used or what you haven't used already. However, what if you have lots of topics and several takes? For example, uh, a question was asked, tell me about your company, and that question was asked three times with three different answers. You can only pick one of those answers for your sequence. Well, how can you tell which one, which which clip have you used? If you have a ton of clips like I have, I have a ton of clips here. How can you tell which one you've used or which one you haven't used? For example, here, career and praise two. This is a this is a second attempt to answer the question. If we scroll up, I have a similar one. Uh, also, career and praise here. See, this is the first one. This is his first answer, and down here is his second answer. Well, I can only use one of these. So when you have a lot of clips like this, you want to color code them. So let's go ahead and e erase this again. So if you want to color code and label your things, go ahead and click the list view here at the bottom left corner. When you have your list view, this is basically the exact same thing. Since you've named everything now, now it's a lot easier to get organized and you can say, okay, first, first I want to, first I want the video to talk about, you know, maybe this for example. So let's go ahead and drag that in right and once you have that in you can say okay i have this in i don't need to worry about it anymore so you can right click and you can label it as a different color like mango for example now it's identifying hey i've already dealt with this clip i can move on right well since you've already since you've already dealt with since you've already decided to pick the first one you don't need the second one because you, you you watched both of them you thought okay this is the better response we can go ahead and label this also mango right so now we can move on to our next topic. Well, say I want to go ahead and listen to these three right here. Which one's the best answer? Say I thought, oh, this this is the best answer. We're gonna go ahead and drag it in like so. And then we can go ahead and label all these mango again because this topic is done. And you'll see that as we do this, it makes it very easy to go down the list here and we can recognize, okay, what else do we have left? We, we already have all these clips in our in our sequence. We have to still go through these clips and figure out what we want. Right, so it's very easy to label and color label, and you can do the exact same thing in the timeline here. If you want to separate by topic, say, okay, here, here is talking about his company, so we want to have this blue. Next topic, we want to have this labeled something else. They want to have it labeled this color. Next topic, we want to have it labeled something different, so we'll go label, and we'll have it this color, perhaps. Oh, that's the same color. Uh, so maybe this color right here. And as you can see, this makes it very easy for you to see uh, the change in topic when you need to add transitions, when you don't, you have a better understanding of what your video is. Uh, so that's kind of the uh, little trick here. Uh, you can also go up to edit, go to preferences, and go to label colors. And here you can actually change the color and change the name. So for example, if you, if you don't want to name your clips, uh, like I have, perhaps you want to color code them and name them by color. You can do that as well. I don't know, I just prefer to have it with color, I'll just name my clips like that. But you have the option to rename and uh, rename your clips and rename your labels, and you have the option to obviously change the color or use the colors to label your clips in the timeline or in the list view here. If you like to unlock the panel here, you can right click the title, unlock panel, and you can actually go ahead and drag this down and you have an easier time here to view all of your clips at once and you can just keep on dragging in okay next I want to have this okay I talked about this topic now I can go ahead and label it I can label and not rose you want to pick label mango and something like that or if you want to be even more precise remember how we were down here we're saying okay well answer two was the best here you can continue to label this a different color say okay well i didn't use this so we're gonna go ahead and label it rose whatever i didn't use i'll label rose whatever i used i'll la label mango whatever i haven't looked at i'll label violet like that so it makes it very easy to organize your clips if, if you have a lot of them or if you've separated your clips from a very large clip and you, you stay organized, you stay concise, and you stay, uh, you know, up to date with 
you know, what you've gone through, what you've not gone through, so you can make the best uh, story in your video as possible with the footage that you're given. So that's kind of everything I wanted to go over in the tutorial. Sorry if it was a bit confusing. This is just a technique that I learned quite recently, and I thought it was super helpful for editing. And I wanted to share it with you guys because it can make it a bit easier. You know, a lot of times when you have lots of footage or you have a lot of clips, it tends to get overwhelming. But, you know, this labeling technique here can really help you stay organized. It can make it a lot less overwhelming. Hopefully you enjoyed. If you liked this video, go ahead and subscribe. Plenty of other Premiere Pro tutorials on the channel. Lots of other video editing tutorials, image editing tutorials. Tutorials, lots of software tutorials on our channel. If you like that type of content, go ahead and subscribe, leave a like, any questions or comments, confusions. If you need more detail on how this method works or you're confused about something, go ahead and leave a comment down below. I'll be down there answering any questions you have, as always. And uh, if you'd like to donate a dollar to my Patreon page, anything as low as that is very helpful, very much appreciated. All you gotta do is click the card in the top right hand corner of the screen, and it'll bring you to the page. I also have a gaming channel, vlogging channel, advice channel, and a music channel. You wanna check those out, links in the description as well as on the end card. That's pretty much it. Thank you for watching as always. And this is Just Man Smart and I'll be back sooner than you think. Don't go anywhere.